Boxing King Media in association with Boxro uh, here with Will Coley at the Ben Davison Performance Centre. Will have just seen you do a solid eight rounds of sparring. Your first proper step up coming up in a, in a couple of weeks' time? Yeah, yeah. Um, next week, he's won three, three knockouts, three losses and one draw. Even enough record. Um, I watched him fight Nico Levers, which got stopped on a technical draw with a cut. But to step up in um, opposition, definitely. Obviously, weight-wise, where are you at at the minute? Because I think a few times I've spoken to you, never really sure whether it's super flyweight or bantamweight. What are you thinking at the moment? This, I think this has made a... I think I'll be making about 55, 56. I think he's coming in a bit heavier, so... We've made a super bantam, I think. But for the future, it'll be super fly or bantam. Obviously, tonight you were sparring a... Um, a super flyweight British title challenger, three-time British title challenger. So, is that the weight? You know, obviously, you would have felt in the, the power and strength and everything that you feel at that sort of weight. Do you think that? What do you What do you think is going to be right for you? I can't go off sparring. I spar lightweights, and I feel feel all right. But we'll we'll try for super fly if there's a title on the line. If not, we'll stick around at Bantam and uh, get our chance. Fighting that on a sold out show in uh, Liverpool, uh, you got the big Uzbek on, you know, on top of the uh, card. You got Jazza Dickens fighting as well. It's quite quite a good show. That uh, I bet you're looking forward to it. Not too far from home. Yeah, it's a very very good show. Um, the Uzbek heavyweight, unbelievable fighter, Peter McGrail, Jazza Dickinson, some good fellas on the, um, the show. I'm looking forward to being part of it. What can fans expect to see from you now? Obviously, you've had a few fights now. In previous fights, you've shown some crazy amounts of skill. You've been compared to Prince Nassim on some of the highlight videos of you. And I've seen you spar again today. And watching you spar is a lot more entertaining because you've got guys that are throwing punches at you. So I'm getting to see all the... Sh if I was able to make a highlight video of that, it would, would have been absolutely amazing. I like I always say that I hit hard and I hit a bit too sharp for me on good sometimes against journeyman. I hit them early, first round, I hit them a sharp one too, and they go into a shell. It leads me to chase and they'll run in four rounds. I was meant to be doing two six rounders, it got cut to four. I think I'm scheduled for an eight rounder this time, and um, I should be getting rid of kids like this. I sh shouldn't be going the distance with them. I know it's, it's, it's hard though, isn't it, when people are kind of blocking your shots and not really giving you much to work off so it's not easy getting knockouts early in your career especially when you when you especially at your sort of weight as well you're trying to get opponents for a start you're probably fighting guys that are, are heavier weights when then you should be fighting them yeah 100 percent um but like i always say as soon as the opposition comes it'll bring the best in me um i'm a very reactive fighter and um it's all starting to come together down here with obviously ben and barry as you've seen there in sparring and obviously i'm very good on the front foot I'm hitting hard, I'm good on the back foot, it's all coming together, it's all working perfectly now, so I'm looking for a big performance on uh, Saturday. Exciting times ahead for you. Uh, before I let you go, I just wanted to get your opinion on, you know, this week, uh, massive boxing news in regards to, you know, Conor Ben failing uh, a drugs test and the whole fight, obviously getting cancer with Chris Eubank Jr. What, what did you make of it all? To be honest with you, I'm fighting next week, so I've got my own worries to worry about. Um, not read too much into it, to be honest, the fight's off. That's all I know. That's probably a good political answer, that. Uh, but it's my job to get everyone's opinions because pe people want to know what everyone thinks about this current situation. Um, where, where do you see yourself in, say, 12 months' time? Uh, what, what is the plan for you? And obviously, Ben masters everything behind the scenes. We want a title in 12 months' time. Um, I've been pro a year, a year now. It's been slowly... I've only had two fights, but it's been slow progress. been in the gym all year. So the start of next year, I want to be pushing on. I've got this fight and one more scheduled for the end of the year, another eight rounder. I push for titles. I'll, I'll fight anybody. Everyone knows I'll fight anyone, anytime, any weight, really. So if the opportunity comes, I'll be ready to take it. Good man. And is it fair to compare to Prince Nassim? Do you think is it fair to compare you to Nas? If you want to compare me to Nas, I won't. Uh, won't bat an eyelid. A very, very good fighter. And. Um, People criticise him, and if you know, if you say I'm like him, I get criticised in the comments and everything. But unbelievable fighter, one that I looked up to for many, many, many years. Um, so it's a compliment to me if anyone says that. Good man, Bill. I wish you all the best. I'll, I'll be there. Um, hopefully, when uh, fight week starts, and uh, for you to go and show the fans what, what you're made of. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.
Cheers.